Welcome, we're going to do our review of probability worksheet, so let's get started. Okay, so our first one, it says uh, use, for the first three questions, a random two-digit number generator 10 through 99 is drawn. Find the probability of each. Okay, um, so 10 through 99. First of all, how many numbers are in 10 through 99? Uh, a lot of students will just go ahead and subtract 10 from 99 and they'll get 89. Fortunately, that is not correct because you discount actually counting number uh, 10 when you do that. It's like saying uh, how many numbers are there from 1 to 9, and if you did 1 minus 9, you'd get 8, um, but there's really 9. So the real answer actually is not 89, but 90. So we have a total of 90. How many of them are 32? Just one. Okay. Probably even odd number. Uh, well, there's 90 numbers. And probably if an odd is going to be, well, we start on an even, we end on an odd, so it's going to be half of, of them, so that's 45. And then a multiple of 5. Okay, so it starts out, well, we still have 90 is our total amount. So we have, um, let's see, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, and 95. So sometimes writing that, that, that uh, list out will help. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm not going to reduce these fractions for now just so you can see where the numbers come from. All right, a letter is, random, uh, is randomly chosen from the word candlestick. Find the probability of each. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different pieces. A vowel, we have 1, 2, 3. An N or an S, so 1 N. Another S, so that's 2 out of 11. Anything but side C, so there's 1 C, so it's going to be 10 out of 11. All right, three coins are tossed. Find the probability that two land on heads. Okay, well, the independent probability here um, is that I can multiply them, but since I'm tossing three, we have to kind of let, write out all the different possibilities. So H, 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 T, H, T, H, H. Okay, and then we could have H, H, T. And then we can go and get, um, so that's all the H's and ones with two H's, and we can go to T, T, H, T, H, T, um, H, T, T, and then T, T, T. All right, so we have two T's and two H's, and so there we go. We got um, all the heads, all the tails, all the different iterations that we could have. Find the possibility of two heads. Um, so we could do this one, this one, this one. Uh, none of the other ones will have two heads, so we get three out of eight. A month is randomly chosen. What's the probability that the month chosen has less than 31 days? Um, you would have to know your calendar pretty well, and Mr. Smith doesn't. So instead, what Mr. Smith does is he takes out his iPhone and finds his calendar. So we have uh, what is the probability of the month chosen has less than 31 days? So we have 12 months, and if we start at January, uh, January has uh, 31 days, so that doesn't count. February does, so we can t count February. Uh, March has 31, April is less. Uh, May has 31. Oh, can't count May, we have a month less. June has 30, so we can count June. July is 31, August 31, September I think is less, so September. October is 31, November, and I know December is 31, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What's the probability of drawing a 9 or diamond from a standard deck of cards? Well, we have 13 diamonds and we have 4 9s, but we have to double count. So we have 14 diamonds. But then we have three leftover nines. So that's a total of 16 out of 52. A credit card places a three digit security code on the back. What is the probability that a code starts with the number seven? Well, we have 10 different digits that it could have. 
it's giving a three digit just trying to trick us. But it's a probability that the code starts with a seven. Well, I mean, that's pretty basic. We could just take a look at the first number. We have 10 options. How many are seven? One out of 10. Okay, we could reduce it down to that. Uh, two dice are rolled was a probability of not getting doubles. Okay, so we'd have to look at our sample space of two dices being rolled. Um, but we know that the total sum of dices being rolled is 36 outcomes. Uh, the doubles would be 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6, 6. We have six pairs of doubles. So the probability of not getting doubles would be uh, the opposite of that. So 30 out of 36. Michaela has the following songs on her iPod. 14 Taylor Swift, 16 Megan Trainer, 17 Katy Perry songs. What is the probability that the next song that is played is not Katy Perry. Uh, well, we'd have to add up all the songs, so that's going to be 14 plus 16 plus 17, and that gives us 47 total songs. Um, not Taylor Swift, or sorry, not Katy Perry. So that would be Taylor Swift and Megan Trainor, which would be 30. So 30 out of 47. A dice is rolled, then a coin is tossed. What's the probability of getting a five and then a heads? Well, we have two events. Uh, so getting a 5 is 1 out of 6, and getting a tails is 1 half, so we're going to get 1 out of 12. Coins tossed and a random number is chosen. What's the probability of getting heads? 1 out of 2. Then a number less than 4, so that would be 1, 2, 3, and it's 1 through 10, so we're going to go out of 10 options. We have 3, and we're going to get 3 over 20. Again, I'm not doing any reductions on this today. All right, Natalie guessed on the test four true or false questions on her math quiz. What is the probability she got all four questions correct? So it's one, two, three, four. Well, her probability of getting each one correct is one half. So we basically have to do one half times one half times one half, which is basically one half to the fourth power. Uh, so the top number is going to be one. Two times two is four. Times two is eight. Times two is 16. <clears throat> Letters drawn a card is drawn from a standard deck and letters chosen from the word incredible what's the probability of drawing a king well king's going to be four out of 52 and getting an i would be two out of how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we get four times two which is eight over 520. again we should reduce them but i'm not going to just so you can see where the numbers come from all right, a bag contains um, 30 lottery balls, number one through 30, a ball is selected, replaced, so keyword here, it's replaced, then another is drawn. So we're gonna do two events, even, one through 30, that means there's 15 even, and then 15 odd. Since we replaced it, we don't have to minimize the number. So we're gonna get 900 over 225. Probability of getting a seven, that's gonna be one out of 30. And then a number greater than 16, so that'd be 17, 18, so on and so forth. Uh, so there's 14 numbers. So that's going to be 14 over 900. A multiple of 5. Okay, so 5, so that's going to be 5, 10, uh, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 30 possible uh, lottery balls and prime numbers so we need to know all of our prime numbers up to 30 uh, and this is when I go ahead and I wouldn't give you a question like this on the test but this is where I would be like yo what's all the prime uh, numbers you know can you give me a list of that so I just go ahead and I just google it real quick and um, yeah there it is look at the list of the prime numbers so we got two three 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29. Okay, so we have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 out of 30. Multiply it, you get 60 out of 900. Probability of two even numbers. Um, that's going to be 15 out of 30 times... 30, that's 225 out of 
uh, 900. Yeah. This next set, we are not doing replacement. So it's the same thing, but we're not replacing. So the second one's always going to be less. So a two-digit number, and then four. Well, the two-digit numbers are going to be 10 through 30, so everything but 9. So we're going to have basically 21 out of 30. And then the 4 is going to be 1. That's definitely not a two-digit number, but we only have 29. So multiply those, we get 21 over 30 times 29, which is going to be 870. 19, that's going to be 1 out of 30. And a multiple of 4, well, we got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. We still have all 7 because 19 is the one we got in place over 29. So we get 7 over 870. Probability of getting 24, it's 1 over 30. And a number less than 15, well, 24 is over that, so we're going to do less than 15. So that's 1 through 14, so that's 14 out of the 29 cards that are left. We get 14 over 870. Two perfect squares. Ooh, this one's tough. So how many perfect squares do we have? We have, what, 1, uh, 4, uh, 9, 16, 25, and that's it. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 out of 30. And then we remove one of the perfect squares. So we don't have 5 anymore. Now we have 4. So we are going to get 20 over 87. The football team has five freshmen, eight sophomores, 11 juniors, 16 seniors. If two are chosen at random to participate in the coin toss, what's probably that both players chosen will be seniors? Two different events. Uh, we have 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 16. 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 16 gives us a total of 40 people. And we have 16 seniors. But once I choose that senior, um, I'm not going to have that senior anymore to choose from, so 39 out of 15, and we're going to get 16 times 15, which is 240, and 40 times 39, which is 1560. Okay. Uh, Ryan's mom ran wishes two days each week for Ryan to do chores. What's the problem that she picks Saturday and Sunday? Uh, well, she has one day out of seven is Saturday. And uh, one day out of now six days available is Sunday. And so we multiply that one times seven times six, and that is 42, which would be a total bummer. All right, that is it. See ya.